What is going on, people of the internet? Happy Chaotic here with K Double R. And welcome back or welcome if this is your first time visiting my channel. Now, in a previous video, I went over how a Black Ops 5 was just announced when Modern Warfare 2 2022. It is coming out this year, right? Uh, well, assuming it is, MW2 2022 hasn't even dropped yet, and we're already getting the announcement for a Black Ops 5. Uh, and I already covered this as well, so before anybody says, what about Cold War? Go watch that video, I already touched that, but if you don't, the quick rundown is, it is the fifth Black Ops within the series, uh, but it's not technically Black Ops 5. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they considered it Black Ops 5 once upon a time before they decided, oh, let's actually make another Black Ops, this won't be actually Black Ops 5. What about Cold War? It's called Cold War. Sure, it's the fifth game, but eh, different game, and it's a prequel, so there's that, and it's not the only prequel that, you know, exists within the Black Ops line. Uh, anybody remember the Call of Duty Black Ops on the PS Vita? That did have a campaign, uh, which was supposed to take place... I'm not exactly sure. I think it took place sometime after Black Ops 1, but before Black Ops 2. Uh... I don't know. Somebody can correct me down in the comments section. I never really played it. I seen some gameplay. I seen a review, a quick rundown and summary of the game. But uh, you know, memory of that is a bit fuzzy. It was a while ago. And pretty much what I just ended up saying was how this game just needs, or this franchise, I mean, just needs to stop. Hit the brakes already. I think most people within the community are tapped out. We're done. We're done. As as far as I'm concerned, most people want a good multiplayer that'll keep going, and that's it. And in that video, I also said, probably in a future video, I would go over what I would want for one last final Call of Duty. And this is that video. Now, what do I mean by one last final Call of Duty? I mean, that's it. One last game. The very, very last game. Like, maybe at most we could have one or two more if if the campaign is ended on a cliffhanger, maybe. Uh, but I already have some ideas for that anyways. Uh, or spinoffs. But then again, you know... Here's the thing, because campaigns are typically one and done. People are going to go back to play them if they found them fun, but typically they're one and done. Of course, everybody's always worried about the multiplayer and whatever third, maybe fourth mode in the game may have, whatever co-op mode, such as survival, zombies, something like extinction, stuff like that. St stuff that's going to be continued to uh, be given some service until the next Call of Duty, where... They'll leave the servers on, but there's not really much support other than, you know, oh, somebody later down the line wants to buy a DLC that they didn't buy it for. Okay, we'll make sure everything goes smooth and we get that money. You get the DLC done. Uh, you know, there's, there's still so many DLCs for the old school Call of Duty. But, yeah, I think that's the main thing to focus on is the multiplayer, right? Because that's the thing that's going to be ongoing. And the one thing that irritates me is that we're having a Call of Duty made every single year. Recently, some of the multiplayers have been just about the same. Like, even if you haven't played it, you look at it, it's like Modern Warfare, Cold War, Vanguard. Uh, probably soon, Modern Warfare 2, 2022, are going to pretty much have a very similar, if not the same multiplayers, with just different, uh, different textures, different theme, different guns. That's really it. And of course, then there's Warzone, which is doing really hot still. <sighs> so I think those are two primary things to take into consideration when it comes to this last final Call of Duty. And then there's also the zombies community. Uh, but I mean, anything decent we get, we'll probably, we'll just keep rolling with it. I mean, how we we'll still go back to the old COD just to go on a round of original Kino. So, you know, if it's a good map, we'll go back to it. 
granted nobody's really going to go back to Vanguard. I haven't touched it yet. I might touch it for what did I miss one day eventually. But I got to finish up on Battlefield Black. And I probably will touch on Halo. Um, I got to do a video for what I got to do soon in the future for what did I miss. A lot of certain game franchises that I want to touch on that are primarily available right now on Xbox Pass, EA Pass. So stuff like that. And I'll, I'll get into that uh, in a future video. But So... So if this is the last final Call of Duty, and the main reason why I'm taking into consideration it, it, multiplayer in Warzone is, if this is going to be the final Call of Duty, then the only thing that's going to really continue on is the multiplayer in Battle Royale, because they're going to be live service. So let's go ahead and start off with that, and then we'll touch on the other stuff I would want for a final Call of Duty. Now, I personally don't give a fuck about Warzone. I haven't even touched a Call of Duty in a minute, honestly. The only ones I would be touching right now is Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and anything before that. Um, I have tried the other Call of Duties with a friend, but I just wouldn't bother to get them. I almost got mine and worked for 2019 for the campaign and for the Spec Ops mission. Because they seem, they seem pretty freaking dope. And they turned it out like shit. I don't think they ever really fixed them. So, yeah, there's... there's there's that. So, multiplayer. I honestly don't even know where to start with that. I just don't touch multiplayer. I guess... Well, let's... Let's think of the two most probably beloved Call of Duties within the whole franchise. Modern Warfare 2, original. And Black Ops 2. I am personally am not the biggest fan of Black Ops 2 multiplayer because of the hit detection. But, here's what I'm thinking. We just had the multiplayer be something exactly like COD Mobile. Now, for those of you who have uh, not seen or tried COD Mobile, that game is like a mush of various Call of Duties all in one. It has Modern Warfare assets, Advanced Warfare assets. I don't really remember any inf Infinite Warfare assets, but if there are any, they're most likely just going to be square streaks, maybe guns, skins, um, you know, nothing game-breaking. For the most part, this multiplayer... Out of all the recent multiplayers that have been made from COD, has been the most balanced and the one I've actually been going back to here and there. But of course, I'm mainly talking about a council COD. So let's have something that's like a, a mush of all the Call of Duties. A game from the ground up that's a mush of all the Call of Duties, if not just literally make something exactly like COD Mobile if we don't just bring COD Mobile to council planets. And it's literally a mush of all the Call of Duties. But here's the thing. It plays and feels like Black Ops 2 more than anything. But here's the funny thing with better hit detection. I mean, it has its moments where it's literally exactly like Black Ops 2. I mean, hell, it even has the fucking butter knife. But it's like Black Ops 2 with a bit better hit detections, and some more extra awesome score streaks from other Call of Duties, as well as a variety of guns, throwables, and they, they, they do bring specialists back into COD Mobile, but they basically kind of work like score streaks though, more than anything, that you can still earn even after dying so much, so... I mean, they don't, you know, they don't really break the game or anything. They're actually pretty freaking balanced. They're all right. They're actually all right. Um, but yeah, if anything, I think, I think that's what I, I would want if we were to have our final Call of Duty and what I would want for a multiplayer. Just make something like COD Mobile. The feel of Black Ops 2, but the hit detection of, uh, I know a lot of people didn't like Ghosts for various fair reasons, but when it comes to all of the Call of Duties, Ghost had one of the best hit detection. Out of all of them, it's the best ever. 
Now, if that hit detection was just in some better Call of Duties, ah, oh my God. Black Ops 2 with, with, with ghost hit detection would be wonderful. Um, I don't know if we, I would say the same for the knife. I think the knife could just stay the butter knife, but... Oh my god, that would just be wonderful. That would be... I would love that. I would I would just love that. I might just start playing multiplayer again. <coughs> and of course, we can do the same for all the score streaks and all the weapons. This is going to make people wonder, well, what about the campaign? And maybe even stuff like Spec Ops and whatnot. I'll get to that in a sec. So... And that's what we'll have. We'll just have something like, like mobile, like COD Mobile. And of course, it would still be live service, just constant new shit, new new content, uh, new weapons, new calling cards, camos. Yeah, you you know you know the whole drill. Maps. I don't know if we would still be paying for them on COD Mobile. You don't like at all. You just download them. So I guess in this case scenario, they we wouldn't be paying for the maps at all. They would be completely and a hundred percent free, assuming they're making tons of monies off of microtransactions, which you know they would still have. Um, which they would, they, they still are. They're making a shit ton of money, so we'll just make the maps free. That's, you know, there you go. There's the money for that content to be made. Um, now let's quickly move on to Warzone slash Battle Royale. <sighs> Um, I think for the most part, people like Warzone for what it is as is. I mean, obviously, it would probably feel more like Black Ops too, but with the hit detection of Ghost. So, I don't, I really don't know what to do with Warzone. I think for the most part, it would just be the same, but with a new map. Of the again, just like uh, the same thing of the various Call of Duties, they already do that with Warzone, but still. Uh, and of course, they can do what they've been doing, they change the map over time, have events, yada yada. So, for the most part, I think Warzone would pretty much be kept the same, but it would, of course, be made for the theme of the game. Uh, so I think we already got our multiplayer in Battle Royale down, and of course, you already know that shit would probably be free by itself. Uh, campaign. Let's move on to the campaign. So what what would we do for one final out with a bang campaign for Call of Duty? Well, here's the thing. I think in for the campaign, it would have to have multi stages. Since this is the final Call of Duty, we're not going to have any more future sequel releases. Instead, what we could have is just campaign. DLC. Now think about it. What if we have this? We have our last Call of Duty, right? We have our ongoing live service multiplayer, which is very similar to Black, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, or Warzone for those who prefer the Battle Royale. And then for the campaign, we ha we'll have this ongoing story for a while, which is maybe all the timelines or whatever all throughout Call of Duty meeting. Yes, there's actually a multi, uh, multiple timelines and even a multiverse within Call of Duty. All thanks to zombies, which I'll touch on in a sec. But whatever we would do with the preset campaign, you know, we'll take that summer, maybe starting to merge all the worlds together. And then in the following campaign, uh, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe the campaign universe would start crumbling into the zombie universe. And it would eventually start merging into zombies. Which, we're going to go ahead and go and touch into zombies. For zombies, I don't even know. We'll probably have some preset maps with their own separate little storyline before we do another map that would slowly merge into the campaign. And from there, future campaign slash zombie DLCs pr could probably come into two and one bundles. Or they're just one and the same. A campaign, a zombies campaign, which merges zombies and campaign together. You have your linear moments, then you have your open world survival, and of course, plant, plant plenty of Easter eggs for people to find along the way. Oh my god, I don't even know how. Maybe kind of something in the style of Doom, 
as far as like world and map design, uh, where you have your linear path progressing the story, and then you have this open area for survival, do a puzzle, move the story, progress, and then you continue on like as if it was campaign. You know, we'll just have zombies and campaigns slowly merge into one. Over time, maybe it would leak into multiplayer. Maybe it would also leak into Warzone. Kind of something like they did with the previous events, but I'm talking about them almost merging into one fucking world. And why stop there? Again, we're going out with a bang with this final Call of Duty, so we'll also throw in Spec Ops. We'll have some special Spec Ops missions. Kind of something similar to the old school modern warfares but maybe have their own little side B plots that somehow sort of connect to the main primary campaign zombie story kind of like how comic book issues will have these side comic book stories that have their own story to tell but they kind of connect to the main issue building up this whole event uh, and Maybe even some survival as well. Now, survival uh, would just be pretty much something like Modern Warfare survival with a little bit of ghost survival where you can get score streaks. Because I think with ghost survival mode, it, it, it added a little touch that made survival a, a lot cooler. Even though I feel like survival mode done in Modern Warfare 3 was just like damn near perfect. Like, that's all I would add to that. It's just, you can get score streaks from drops in between rounds like you did in Ghost. We're not going to touch on Advanced War for Survival because that one was just bad. I did not like it at all. So we would have Survival Mode. But what I would do similar to um, Advanced Warfare is, I mean, Modern Warfare already did this too. Ghost kind of basically did this too. But we would do the same thing where... You can go through each individual individual multiplayer map and survive on it. Maybe we would even also, on the side, have special survival-only maps that you wouldn't have for multiplayer. Or that would only work for survival and wouldn't work for multiplayer. And just to really add some extra sauce on the taco, fucking custom games. And I'm not talking about any custom games. Custom map edited games. Let's throw in a map editor for that bitch. We'll do it for uh, Spec Ops, multiplayer, and zombies. Bringing the custom zombies community to council. Imagine this. I mean, tell me this wouldn't be pretty cool. A map editor for the for just the whole Call of Duty community. We bring all types of cool shit, cool custom zombies maps. Uh, from the community we can have some interesting new multiplayer maps from the community and even see how people would make their own spec op missions uh, i don't know what you or people might think when you hear this but when i picture it i imagine it almost something kind of like far cry's map editor where people make their own missions and even multiplayer maps now far cry's multiplayer it doesn't have a lot of support right now. In fact, I think it's it's pretty much dead. And that thing was something else. But people made some pretty interesting shit in the map editor. They made multiplayer maps and side mission maps. I would love to see how the Call of Duty community would make their own stuff in a map editor. Multiplayer, zombies, and spec ops. All three down And survival. I almost forgot. I, I guess survival would be thrown in with spec ops just as a second option. Um... But, uh, that would be awesome. So, yeah. A map, custom map editor for zombies, multiplayer, survival, and spec ops. That would just be fucking perfect. Glorious. Just everything. Just all out. All fucking out. I mean, I'm not joking. This is the final freaking Call of Duty. We're going to go out with the bang. Just keep going with, uh, with, with, you know, with content rolling for the multiplayer and Warzone for the live service part. And for those who are still interested, we'll have campaign and zombie DLCs, story DLCs, 
Maybe they will throw in some spec op missions with that if you do a full bundle or whatever. And of course, we're going to have the map editor for those who want to make their own custom stuff. Or maybe, maybe we won't even have to pay for uh, zombies, maps, and uh, spec ops mission. We probably will still have to for the campaign because that's also going to take some... Uh, some new voice lines, some uh, maybe even some new assets, so we would still have to pay for the campaign missions. But since it's going to have a built in map editor, I don't think we would even need to do again. I'm going to do a quick comparison to Far Cry with Far Cry. The uh, Ubisoft team will sometimes make their own little side missions in the map editor that people can try out. So I imagine it kind of something like that. They can make these new maps. Uh, they can make new zombie uh, maps as well. Release it to the community. Uh, unless it's something like always fresh. Something with new assets. Again, kind of like with the campaign. New voice lines. Then, yeah, obviously that's that's a lot of new stuff. That's not available in the map editor. So I can see understand still having to pay for that. But at least with Spec Ops missions, they would de definitely be able to do that. They would just make it a map editor and release it. Oh, uh, Activision uh, official Spec Ops mission. Uh, I'm saying Activision, I'm not going to say any specific dev studios because since this would be the final Call of Duty, I think we would probably bring all the dev studios together. Who would do what? I'll let you guys discuss that down below. I can already see people saying, do not let Sledgehammer or Infinity War touch the multiplayer. Okay, well, what would you have them do, just out of curiosity? Uh, what what parts are they good at do you think they would best serve in? But, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, and again, since this is the final Call of Duty, that's all we're getting. It's just new content dropped for that game until eventually, eventually they... They made so much money, they don't even know what to do with the, the franchise anymore. They could just finally give it a rest and people can continue to enjoy multiplayer and battle royale and zombies and everything else in between until they eventually shut down the servers and see what they do with the copyright in the next 10, 20 or so years or when it finally expires. When that is, I have no, I have no idea. Especially with Xbox now buying Activision, so there's that. When they buy Activision, they're going to get all the rights to everything they have. Every thing. Beyond just Call of Duty. And beyond what else they're also getting with Blizzard. Because Activision has four decades worth of games. Um, That's it. I feel like that's... I know I didn't get into anything very specific... But th this is just how I'm imagining how it would go. Something that's consumer friendly and the company, the corporation will still be happy because they'll be making their money with the live service part and still making money on campaign and zombie DLCs. Maybe also spec ops. But again, with a map editor, they can just do those for free. And of course, people can maybe use their operators, custom operators with the custom skins they, they bought or earned when playing the new Spec Ops missions released from whichever studio decided to make it. I don't know. How 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 would you how do you think it would go in your head? What studio would do what? Maybe they would go back and forth on making maps, making uh, I could already see something like No <laughs> Don't let them make no more maps. We're done with these motherfuckers, please no. Ghost Vanguard I, just saying that some is gonna give me some of y'all fucking PTSD flashbacks, ain't it? Uh, I don't know, man. I just want this game to rest. I know people want, want uh, at least a good multiplayer, which is why I'm saying they should just go out with a bank. One final Call of Duty, one with a good multiplayer. People can keep playing. They can keep making their money on the microtransactions, the DLCs, the yada yada yada. And then after that, they can finally get the fucking franchise of rest. People can just keep playing that game until it slowly... <sighs> but I know that's never going to happen. 
Especially since people don't learn their lesson. They keep buying the game and then they, they bitch some more. Oh, well, maybe they'll try again next year. Remember when we used to make fun of the Call of Duty cycle? Ah, that shit will never end, I swear to God. That's all I really have to say. Oh, I was also thinking maybe they could do something kind of like the the Halo, the Halo Anniversary Collection where they take all the previous Call of Duties and pull them, put them all together in one game. But unlike 343, they'll actually release it finished and not a complete buggy piece of shit. It'll actually be playable. Assuming once it is finally... Once Activision is finally owned by Xbox, then it'll just get everything and throw it on the Xbox Pass, which I have done a video on this a while ago. Maybe I'll leave it in uh, the description down below. Um, where I pretty much went over how all the games that Activision has can be placed on the Xbox Pass. From the old school, from the old school Call of Duties to anything else in the past that you have ever made ever. Because again, Activision has games going back four freaking decades. And this is not including the Juggernauts from Blizzard. Uh, but we'll see what happens if that deal is ever finalized. I know people are kind of concerned for that, but I see more benefits than positive. At least, at least in the sense of retro gaming, I guess. We'll see what the future holds. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. What would you want for your last final Call of Duty? The campaign, the multiplayer, zombies, an extinction, a survival. What, 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 what would you want? What is something that you think that would make both Activision and their consumers happy? Something that they can at least... At least meet us in the middle with. Other than that, that's all I gotta say. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If not, leave a dislike and a comment telling me why. Any and all interaction is good interaction for my channel and the algorithm. Maybe you don't want the Call of Duty franchise to end. Why? Do you want them to just keep reprinting the same game over and over and over and over and over and over again? And again, I'm just talking about the multiplayer, not the campaign. As much as I love COD campaigns, they're one and done's. Multiplayer is the thing that keeps on going, as well as stuff like zombies and battle royale. So, yeah. What would you want for a final Call of Duty? Or if you don't want a final Call of Duty, why? Why? Why do you want this franchise to be ran into the ground? Or do you just want one more good multiplayer? Which in that case, why don't you want one more good Call of Duty that goes out with a bang with one of the best multiplayers? Again, assuming they don't just bring COD mobile to council. Which would be nice. I am I swear to God, out of all of the previous Call of Duties lately, for the most part, that one is balanced and actually fucking fun. And this is coming from somebody who, for the most part, has stopped playing Call of Duty for a while. I've been going back to that from time to time. But right now, I cannot go back to it because my fucking phone is cracked and trying to play that game will probably cut my finger. Chaotic out. Have a good one.